brethren, I pray you sing a new song. Sing praise in the assembly of the righteous. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let the high praise of God be on the mouths of the saints and a two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance on the demonic nations and punishments on those peoples to bind their kings with chains. This honor have all his saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Beautiful, 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 man. First and foremost, we would like to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. You feel me? We come out here to preach deliverance to the 12 tribes of Israel and death to America, man. It's about time for our people to come back and wake up to the to the um to the law of their Lord, you feel me? Because our people have been trying to go up their own way for all this time, and it has not happened. We're still in poverty, we're still at the bottom, we're still in section eight. Our people still walk around here homeless. It's time for a change, man. Give me on Jeremiah 50 and 4. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50 and verse 4. In those days and in that time, saith the Lord, the children of Israel shall come and the children of Judah together. Going and weeping, they shall go and seek the Lord their God. So the children of Israel and the children of Judah, they're going to go seek the Lord their God. After all this time, we got to return to our Lord. Keep going. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces th uh, thitherward, saying, Come and let us join ourselves unto the Lord in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. Keep going. Verse 6, my people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. So like it, that's our people today. Our people are lost sheep. They see, they, they see their brothers out here with the Bible. They're going to go the other way. Now, I know that Bible, bro. I already know that Bible like the back of my hand. But they don't know nothing in this book. Oh. But, but they're so prideful and they don't want no correction. You feel me? They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. All that found them have devoured them. And their adversary said, we offend not, because they have sinned against the Lord. Jeremiah 30 and 16, man. Because these other nations, man, they think, the, since the Lord is so long-suffering, they're going to get away with all this. You feel me? They think, yeah, we got the children of Israel in the pressure right now. Look at them in the bottom on section 8. They, the Lord is, has forgot about them, but that's contrary to the Bible. You got that? 30 and 15. Yeah, 30 and 15. You got it, bring it up, Jeremiah 30 and 15. Yes, sir. This is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 15. So like it's 16. 16. Yes, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, uh -huh. and all thy adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And all of our adversaries, that's what we're patiently waiting on, man. The saints of the Most High are waiting for those that took them into captivity to go into captivity, man. But the so-called black man and woman, they don't like that. They don't, they don't like that master got to go into slavery, man. They don't like that. Keep on going. Bring up. This is the book of Ephesians, uh -huh. chapter 6 and verse 7. Bring it up. lock here. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 7. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, Galatians. Go back right to Jeremiah 30. No, Jeremiah 50. Go back to Jeremiah 50. Where you get that? Bring it out. It's the book of Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. Uh -huh. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall, be, that shall he also reap. So don't be deceived, man, because they want to mock God. Where, where the picture at? Get seeds right there, man. This is how they mock. This is how they mock our Lord. Yahweh Shah was a so-called black man, but this image goes around the whole earth as Jesus the Christ. And if you show this image to anybody in your family, in your, in your, in your, in your classroom, they're going to say, oh, that's sweet baby Jesus. Whole time, Yahweh Shah was a black man. They mocking the most high God. You feel me? Go ahead to Jeremiah 50, man. Jeremiah 50, bring it out. This is Jeremiah? No, 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 no. Shalaki, Shalaki, Shalaki. Verse. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 7. All that found them have devoured them, and their adversaries said, We offend not, because they have sinned against the Lord. The habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. Remove out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans. So we got to get out of this land of Babylon, man. We got to flee out of Babylon and all of her ideologies, philosophies, her religions. We got to flee out this place, man. Because Babylon is dead. Nothing but bad to us. Got a people out here struggling out on drugs, drinking alcohol in the middle of the day, daytime drunk. Smoking, um, smoking blunts, white owls. Our people just watch through evil. You yeah. feel me? Uh, give me, uh, you got something? Yeah, bring that out. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. What? Come out of her, my people. No, stand hand in hand with Babylon. Uh -huh. 
come out of her, my people. Our people, we gotta separate from this wicked society, man. That ye be not partakers of her sin. Because Babylon is gonna be destroyed, man. Nuclear thermal missiles are coming to this place. You don't wanna partake in that, man. So you gotta come out of her. And that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Babylon's sins have reached up to heaven, man. And God is going to remember every every idle word they said against us. All all, all the evil they did towards us is going to come back to, until their own head. This is Zechariah chapter 2, verse 6. Mm -hmm. Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north, uh -huh. say the Lord. For I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heaven, say the Lord. Deliver thyself, O Zion, uh -huh. that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. So we've got to deliver ourselves, O Zion, that door with the daughter of Babylon, these Edomites. We right here with neck and neck with our enemies. You, you got a priest up back there? Bring it up. It's the book of Micah, chapter 2 and verse 10. Arise ye and depart, but this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. It says, arise and depart, man. Our people, we so comfortable in America, we over here trying to get rich. While the whole world is crashing, all our people worried about is getting the bag. Getting rich, getting high, getting drunk, man. We made this place our rest. We're gonna go chill and play 2K all day, smoke blunts all day, and play Madden, but we don't want to hearken to the voice of the Lord our God. You hear, you, hear, you see our brothers out here calling y'all back to the Bible, calling y'all back to y'all nationality, and they just keep on walking up and down the street. They might go across the street and get a pork belly. You, you know, our people just watch through evil, man. That's period. Right. This is the book of 2 Esdras, chapter 15 and verse 10. Uh -huh. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. That's why we led like a flock to the to the slaughter, man. They slaughtering us out here for disobeying the commandments of the Most High God, and we asking why, 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 why is why is this happening to us, man? Because we don't hearken. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before, mm -hmm. and will destroy all the land thereof. Mm -hmm. Egypt shall mourn. And the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that God shall bring upon it. Man, America's modern day Egypt, man, and it's gonna be destroyed. As as, as much as I don't want to hear it, America will be destroyed with nuclear thermal fire, man. It's gonna be baptized with fire, man. And we gotta come out here and prophesy that, man. We gotta pray for the downfall of our enemies. You feel me? Bring it up, man. Bring it up. It's like Peter three and ten. Somebody give me, yeah, give me that. Book of Second Peter, chapter three and verse ten. Uh -huh. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. So the day of the Lord is gonna come like a thief in the night, man. While you in your room rolling up that white owl, um, getting your two K player right, he's gonna come and see what you about. And the which heavens shall pass away uh -huh. with a great he with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with a fervent heat. And the heavens are gonna pass away with a great noise, and everything you see, all the Lamborghinis, his car wash. This little gas station right here is going to burn away. The earth also, the works that are within, shall be burnt up. And this whole earth is going to be burnt up. And all these wicked works, all these strip clubs, and these liquor stores, man, it's going to be all burnt up, man, for stubble. It's going to be for stubble, just with the house of Esau. This is 2nd Edges chapter 15, verse 24. Woe to them that sin, and keep not my commandments, say the Lord. So the Bible says, woe to them that sin. What is sin? Hey, bro, you know what sin is? Give me that first John. Wake them up! S sin is transgression of the law. You know why people got bought to such a low estate? You know that you used to be a king on this earth? A prince of the power of God? You, you know that's you? Well, how do we get so low? Sin. Bring it out. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3, and verse 4. Mm -hmm. Whosoever committed sin, transgression also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Do you know any laws of God? Do you eat, do you eat pork? Do you eat pork? Give me Leviticus 11, right? Because the Most High God, your Father, your, your power, he, he commanded you not to eat that, you know? You already knew that? You didn't know that? Well, not, I'm, I'm going to teach you something today. This is Leviticus, chapter... Chapter 11, verse 7. Uh -huh. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cut. The swine, right? That's the pig. It says, even though this pig has all the attributes of a clean animal, he's not he's not clean to you, man. He is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. So of what? Of, of their, their flesh, flesh shall ye not eat. So God said you're not supposed to eat it. And their carcass shall ye not touch. Uh -huh. They are unclean to you. Don't even touch their dead bodies, man. Don't even eat it. Don't look at it, don't touch it, don't eat no pork skins, that pork chop, that pork hot dogs, 
Stay away from it. At least an evil thing come upon you. You feel me? You got something else? Oh yeah, nah, keep on, keep on reading. Wait, nah, you probably don't eat. You're bringing it out. Slot. All right, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his fire, so like it, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. But the Lord, he's coming back with fire, man. Give me um, Matthew um, 10. Uh, I'll come back to the same piece with a sword, man. Because the Lord, he's coming with fire. You know that, right? Do you want to get caught up in that judgment? What you going to do to uh, escape it? Keep, try to keep the commandments, right? Uh, little by little, as much as you know. You, you, you from around here? You got to come out here and, and, and get knowledge from these brothers up here, man. They're not going to lead you the wrong way. They're going to tell you what you need to know. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 5 and verse 7. Yeah. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. So the Bible says don't tarry to turn to the Lord. Don't wait till tomorrow, to next week, to next month. Do it right now, you feel me? And put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security that shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. You never know when your last day is. Your last day can be today or tomorrow. You never know. So repent while you have a chance. Because a lot of our people... They got taken out of here, not, not even hearing the prophets, not even seeing the prophets out here. But you got a chance. You feel me? This is Proverbs chapter 7, verse 1. My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live and my law as the apple of thine eye. So the Bible says keep his commandments and live. Right. And keep the law as the apple of your eye, you feel me? So if you keep these commandments, it's only, give me all in Deuteronomy 4 and 6. Okay, these commandments are for your good. It's to keep you safe out here in these last days. Keep you safe from Esau. Keep you safe from yourself. Because, you you know, the so-called black and Hispanic, we all we, we like to follow our hearts. Yeah, our heart told us to do this. It's in my heart. I feel my way. I feel this way in my heart. But your heart is deceitful. So you might think, man, these niggas up here crazy. Talking about we got to keep the commandments, yelling at people and stuff. But look, we're going to tell you, thus self the Bible. We're going to tell you, thus self the Lord. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, and verse 6. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and, and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Are you a wise man? Do you, do, do, you, do you seek to be a wise man? Read that again. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. The Bible says keep the commandments and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Keep reading. Which shall hear of Slakia, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. So when people see you keeping commandments, they're going to understand that you're wise. You're an you're, you're understanding man. They're not going to look at your PhD. They might think you're wise, but you're wise to the, to the eyes of the white man. But the Most High said, if you keep his commandments, now you're a wise man. Because now you're fearing me. A wise man will fear the Most High. That's what a wise man is going to do. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 7. You know, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. So you got to get wisdom in these last days so you can understand what's going on. So you can decipher the, the signs of the times. And you know what, Hamas Yaka's come back to save you from this poor condition that we in. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 60. Uh -huh. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. See me? I learned this truth about two years ago. I, I stumbled across it on a YouTube video. My first time seeing this, the Israelites on YouTube, I made haste. From that very day, I never turned back. I never went back into the world and said, you know what? F them Israelites. No, I took heed to the commandments. Right. Huh. So like you, verse 61, the bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten thy law. Like the bands of the wicked, these jokes of iron they put us in when we got over here, it robbed you for your nationality, it robbed you for your culture, your identity. But we're not forgetting who we are. Keep reading. Is there any more on that? I was like to bring this out. Isaiah 58. This is Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Uh -huh. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. That's what we're doing right now. We're crying aloud, and we're not sparing anybody. And we we loud with it. Everybody can hear us, they can hear us across the street, they probably can hear us over there. They need to come take heed. Can you read? Right. And show my people their transgression. What are we doing? Show so my people their transgression uh -huh. and the house of Jacob their sins. Uh -huh. Yet they seek me daily and delight, delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinance of their God. That's what we got to do, man. We got to come back and be righteous to the Most High God so he can have a reason to come deliver us from our enemies, man. You think the Most High wants some, some crack dealers in his kingdom, some pimps and hoes in his kingdom? No, he need righteous men. We need righteous men out here. That's going to stand for the Lord. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3 and verse 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. 
For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. So you probably got a, you look like an elder, man. You probably got a lot of wisdom in this world, man. But it's foolishness with the Most High God. The, the real wisdom, according to the Bible, is his law, statutes, and commandments. Right. So once you're keeping these law, statutes, and commandments, the Most High, he's going to deal with you. Now, once, once you start doing that, he's going to, like, really start blessing, for real. Psalms 94. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 94 and verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? See, that's what we're doing right now, today. We're standing for the Most High God. We young men. I'm 21. My brother's 21. We all 21 out here. At least us three. And we're standing up for the Most High God against the, against the evildoers. So how, how it should be easier for you, man. You know? This is Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. So if you keep these commandments, you're going to come into life. You're going to be prosperous in your ways. But if you don't keep these commandments, the Most High, he's going he's to send Satan for you to do his dirty work. He's going to get you out of here. That's right. That's right. Yeah. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent, yea, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing come, shall come from the presence of the Lord. So the Bible says you have to repent. You know what repent means? To turn from your sins, man. Turn from your transgressions, put it off, and don't return to it. You feel me? And be converted. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul, the testimony of the Lord is sure, making the wise the simple. The Bible says the law of the Lord is perfect, and it, it's going to convert your soul. And it, it, it take a, it, it, it'll make a simple man wise, and it'll make a wise man simple, you know? I know you probably a little elder, you're like, man, I don't know if these young niggas can tell me anything. I've been, I'm, I've been here twice as long as you. I, I'm not going to tell you nothing wrong. I'm just trying to tell you something because I want to see you prosper, man, you know? This is Second Andrews chapter 16, verse 63. Surely he knoweth your adventures and what ye think in your hearts, even them that sin and will hide their sin. Therefore hath the Lord exactly searched out all your works, and he will put you all to shame. And when your sins are brought forth, yea shall it's a lot. And when your sins are brought forth, ye shall be ashamed before men, and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. What will ye do, or how will ye hide your sins before God and his angels? Behold, God himself is the judge. Fear him, leave off from your sins, and forget your iniquities, to meddle no more with them forever. So shall God lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. So the Most High God said, leave your sins and don't meddle with them for, forever, man. Do you know why Christ died? Christ died for the sins of the nation of Israel, right? Ah! So if he died for our sins, what, what what good are we doing him by keep on sinning? By keep sinning and sinning and sinning if our sins got him killed in the first place. You love Christ? You believe in Christ? All right, give me all. Um Book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not evil to give you an expected end. So the most high he has thoughts of peace towards you. He don't have he don't got an evil thought towards you, man. You might think, man, the most high man, he what's up? What's up with it right now? But the most high he has good thoughts towards you, man. He wants you to return to him and he's gonna bless you. You feel me? Oh uh, shit. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, and verse 34. Away to righteousness, and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. So you got to have the knowledge of God, man, and wake up. And basically, our whole message is to stop sinning. We can come up here, we can sing a song for you, break dance like dude was doing in the street. We can do some push-ups for you all day, but we rather tell you to keep the commandments. Because the America, like, like we said before, America's going to be destroyed. I don't think you want no part in that. I don't want no part in that. You feel me? But with that, I'm going to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, and Death to America, man. Death to America. Shalom, 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 shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Right? Let me get 2nd Ezra chapter 9, right? Because we're living in some beautiful times, you know what I'm saying? Give me, give me, uh, Sirach 25 and 7, right? We living in the end of the world, man. And not the end of the whole world, but the end of Esau's world, right? right. right. The goddamn oppressor, man. The damn devil that the Bible speaks of. Right? right. So. Oh. 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 Oh.
Yeah, it's the book of Sirach, chapter 20, 25 and verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy in his children, and so like and he that liveth to see the downfall of his enemies. So here we are in 2020, finally seeing the downfall of the white man who had us in chains for 400 plus years, raped, robbed, and murdered us, pillaged us, took all our resources, right? Put us on the reservations, put us in the ice camps, mass incarcerated us, have our people out here committing murder and atrocities towards one another, man. We finally getting to see his kingdom collapse, man. And, and it's beautiful. That's what he said. There's no greater joy than getting to see the downfall of your enemy, right? And the Lord is sending plagues upon this wicked world like he did in Egypt, man. Because he's about to get ready to deliver us. Right? This is 2 Ezra chapter 6, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Right, so we up next, man. Give me, give me Matthew 24. All right, let's go to 2 Ezra chapter 9. This is 2 Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right, so it's our duty, it's our due diligence to measure the time diligently being servants of the Lord. We got to see what's going on in the world, geopolitics, man, uh, international affairs, and so on and so forth. We got to see what, we're, what time we're living in in prophecy. We got to take what's going on in the world and marry them to the scriptures, right? What's going on in the world, man? You got uproars of the people. You got hella earthquakes every day. Right now you have a, a massive dust cloud moving Bless towards me, uh, southeast. Uh, what's, up, what's up, brother? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? How you doing today? You doing all right? That's right. You ever heard of the Israelites, brother? Brother, are you are you drunk, brother? No, I just got paid. I'll praise, I'll praise. All right, so pretty much, brother, you are Israelite according to the Bible, right? Your blacks and Spanish native Indians, we are the Israelites of the Bible. God's chosen people. Speaking the word of God. Right, right, right. And I want to come get blessed. All right. Well, we're we going to keep reading on this. We're going to keep reading on this. Go back to uh, 2 Ezra 9, right? So it's our job to measure the time that we're in because the, the world is ending, brother. And all our people who don't want to repent and keep God's laws, they're going to die in this land. That's right. Right? I ain't dying no Come on. Yeah. This, this, our, this, this is our blessing that the Most High was wanting to give us, all right? It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. Yeah. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So that's how you will receive a blessing if you listen to the Lord your God. You got to keep his commandments. You keep his commandments, you ask for a blessing, but he told you how to get a blessing. Do you keep his commandments? I try. You try? All right, well, you'll find the, the commandments in the first five books of the Bible. It's a commandment not to eat shrimp, crab, lobster. Right? Okay. I mean, you know, I said, I ain't saying I'm 100%. Okay. We, we, you know I try. We, we strive to be perfect, right? We strive to be perfect. So we got we to gotta come back to the law because that's what makes us perfect, right? Give, give me that. Uh, I got it. What did Christ tell us to be? He said, "Be, be therefore perfect, right? As our Father in heaven is perfect, right?" So, give me, give me uh, Psalms nineteen and seven. It's the book of Philippians, chapter four and verse thirteen. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Uh -huh. So we can do all things through Christ, right? Which means we can keep the law. You have our churches and our pastors, right? You have false prophets telling us the law was done away with, right? But Christ said Himself, "You got to keep the commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments, right?" That's what Christ said. So if you love Christ, they you're going to keep his commandments. They don't do it. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 14. Uh -huh. Blessed are they that do his commandments. No. Blessed are they that don't do his commandments. No. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Right. That they may have right to the tree of life. So if you want to inherit the kingdom of God and sit from that tree of life. Do the commandments. That's right, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, give my hand. All praises to the most high God. Hey, God don't make no mistakes. That's right. That's right. God brought me to you. And I just came from goddamn Taste of Free. And I heard you talking about God. I said, I started crying. And I said, 
I'm gonna come over here and make them pray for me. Yeah. Well, that's that's why I pulled you, up. That's our due diligence, right? What's your name, brother? My name's Stanley Foster. And I came up because I said, pray for me. Because I need Jesus. I need God. I need the Holy Spirit. I need the Spirit. I need Jesus. And I already got him. This Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. What? It's perfect. The law of the Lord is perfect, brother. Converting the soul. Converting the soul, right? You want to be blessed. You want you want you want the Holy Spirit to come back into you. You got to come back to the law. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna convert Man, your soul. Never had it. Right. That's why we're giving it to you. Right. We're giving you living waters. Give me Ephesians five and twenty six. Right. Give me John three and three. All right. So this is the book of Philippians, chapter one and verse nine. And it's what Paul says, he said, in this I pray that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and all judgment, that ye may approve things that are excellent, and that ye may be sincere and without offense to the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ, unto the glory and praise of God. Come on. Come on. That's beautiful right there, man. This is the book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26. That he might so like it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. All right, so you got to be washed with the water by the word. Now, we have people getting baptized right in water today. I've been baptized two or three times. But have you been washed but, uh, with the word, though, brother? I, I, have you been washed I with the word? baptized. You got to get washed with the word, because everybody in a Christian, in a Catholic church, have went and been dipped under by a porky and pastor. That's right. not really the baptism that Christ is talking about. I've just been baptized, because i just been baptized. This not is John doing, chapter 3, verse 3. And Yahweh shall answer and say unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born again, uh -huh. he cannot see the kingdom of God. You got to be reborn, brother. All right, give me, give me, uh, what is that, Romans 10 and 12? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Keep going on. Well, I'm gonna be Nicodemus said to him, how can a man be born when he is old? Right. Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? So can you crawl back into your mother's womb and re be reborn? You know what I'm saying? Nicodemus right. was being carnal, okay? Keep going. Yahweh Shah answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which born is salak. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. So, like we just read in Ephesians, you got to be washed with the water of the word, brother. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Romans ten and twelve. I know you can't go back in your mama. My mama did. I can't follow. This is the book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So we got to renew our minds. We can't be conformed to this world. Everything that we once do in this world, right? Christianity, Catholicism, uh, being a Muslim, eating pork, right? Eating shrimp crab, getting tattoos, right? Doing everything that everybody else is doing in the world. We got to stop that. That's what the world is doing. We got to be transformed in our mind. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that, Slaki, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect of the will of God. Exactly. What's perfect? The law. Having faith in, this, in, in the Lord Christ. I said, I'll be really messed up. No, brother, because but I did that when I went. But you to didn't the military. know. But you didn't know. Give me Hebrews ten and twenty six. Right? There's a difference between sinning ignorantly and sinning willfully. You know? Because when we were all at once upon a time we were all sinning uh, with, uh, ignorantly, right? And at those times the most high winked at our ignorance. Right? So but once we hear the knowledge of the truth, there's no more sacrifice, right? It's the book of Hebrews, chapter ten and verse twenty six. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remains no more sacrifice Give for sin. Read that again, brother. <laughs> for if we sin willfully, after we have received the knowledge of truth, there remains no more sacrifice for sin. Exactly. So now you know you can't get tattoos. Now you know you can't eat shrimp, crab, and lobster. Now you know you now you know you can't. Eat, uh, exactly. They're bottom feeders, right? They're, they're vile creatures, and the most I said they're abominations. Right. This is 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 21. The like figure, where unto even baptism do also now save us, not the putting away of the flesh, filth of the flesh, 
but answer of a good conscience toward God by the resurrection of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Come on. Come on. All right, let's go back to uh, Second Esther nine. Right. I'm not gonna disrespect God. So, so are you gonna are you gonna start keeping the commandments of God? I'll try. You gonna try, brother? You gonna keep the I Sabbath holy? I try every day. You gonna keep the Sabbath holy? I'm just. It, it, the Sabbath's on Saturday. Come on, come on. Sunday ain't the. Uh, 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 right, Sunday is not the Sabbath, right? Right. Saturday. Saturday is. Right. Right. right, right. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now is a high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. And our salvation is now. So it's important that we understand the times we're living in. We must repent. Brother, that's what it comes down to, being sincere and repenting, all right? You know, call, call upon the Lord. Ask him to create inside of you a new and uh, upright spirit, right? Ask him to show you the way, right? Pray that he directs your path of truth. All right, and just keep repenting. I heard to your commandments. word. I heard your word. I'll oh, praise from right there. This is Second Edges chapter nine, verse three. Uh -huh. Therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and what have we been seeing, man? Hella earthquakes, hella uproars all around the globe. Not just here in America, but everybody's talking about Black Lives Matter. Everybody's talking about no justice, no peace. Right. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world has a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. The end is manifest, meaning it's being brought to fruition. It's being brought alive, man. What did, what did the Lord Yahweh do a couple days ago, man? Over there in India, he struck down a hundred plus people with lightning. Right. In one day. That's judgment. That's the Lord. That's Yahweh. Right? The Most High God is visiting this earth with judgments, man. And it's, it's about to get a whole lot worse. Right? Keep going. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Right? And the signs are plain to the righteous. The signs are plain to the prophets, man. We're out here telling our people, begging our people to repent because all hell is going to break loose in society, right. man. You can see how our people getting slaughtered, how our people are getting destroyed, man. And, and all the other all the, all the damn destruction that the Most High is bringing upon this earth, and we trying to warn you, right? And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby they have believed. How are they going to be able to escape? And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby they have believed. So that's how we're going to be able to be saved without all hell being brought loose, right? By our works. And by our faith, right? And what are the works to keep it? God's laws. What is the faith? Believe it in God's Son, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, who the world ignorantly calls Christ, right? I just went to go get a hamburger and I heard you talking about God. All uh, praise to the Most High. The Most High, hey, what, what's that? Man is going to the Lord. Salah. Shall be preserved from the sad perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Right? Yeah, so so ultimately we know that the elect has been predestined from the beginning. All right, keep going. So I must be all right. You got you got you, you got that works of faith, bro. I heard I heard your word talking about the Lord, and I pulled up. And, and what what is the main thing? What's the, my main focus? What am I up here telling you? Cause you say you heard me, right? Give me give me James one and twenty two. What I'm saying. I almost got my damn burger. Because you heard me, right? It's the book of James, chapter 1 and verse 22. But be ye you doers of the word. Be, what? be ye doers of the word uh -huh. and not hearers only. So he said, do it. He said, you, you heard it, but he said, you didn't say just, do, uh, just hear it. You got to do it. You got to be about that action, right? Take action. You got to take action, right? You can't just say, oh, I heard it and I'm going to be okay. You got to do it, right? Then shall, so I, I and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the sad perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them from me for the, from the beginning. Then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. 
for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. So there's a lot of brothers out here, a lot of sisters out here, you know what I'm saying? They feel like they, they've made it to a certain notoriety in Esau's kingdom, right? They might get a good job, they might be pushing the bands, they, they might be in the league or something like that. And still but, lost. And they still lost because they benefits, they have not known. Read that again. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Right, because they, they spoiled in Esau's kingdom, quote unquote, right? Little do they know that they just set up for destruction, man, by the Lord. Right, keep going. And they that have loathed my law, while yet, slot, while they yet had liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not. Right, so even though we tell them like, hey, look, all that is vain. Being in the world, being uh, uh, in a high spot in this world is vain. It doesn't matter. And we tell them that they need to repent, keep the commandments will be destroyed. They didn't care, except they kept it moving. They scoffed at the prophets. They spit at the prophets, right? Keep going. Hey, understood not, but despised it. Uh -huh. The same must know it after death by pain. So at the end of the day, they're going to know it by death, by pain, man. That thermonuclear destruction that's coming, man. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 1. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For a length of days and long life and peace shall they shall they add to thee. So yeah, man, at the, at the end of the day, man, the signs are obvious and it's clear. We got to repent and keep the commandments and be doing our due diligence. We got to be working our ass off for the Lord in these last days, man, to make our election and calling sure, right? Because all hell is going to break loose. But I want to sign off. I'm going to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Come here, Shalom. Come here, Shalom.